this public land like it's a trail that's marked out by like our government so never mind i'm just gonna stop right there <laughs> I'm like, shit, they're not going to have a government trail right next to a rattler den. Nah. <laughs> I'll just keep an eye out. Just worry about what you're doing, not what they're doing. Oh, somebody's been out here with the tractor. My God, as wet it is, is that thing was hooking up. That didn't do nothing but put dents in the ground. Didn't even tear up the side. I could jump that. You don't go there trust me trust me that's where like shit starts getting scary if you was watching a horror movie i'm telling you i'll tell you where that road is if you want to know i ain't no snitch or nothing but i won't take you there i'll tell you where it's at best make sure you got a good running car you know <laughs> you don't want to break down out there Maybe if you get you a Domino's thing on your car or something, you might not get shot at, but. Sometimes it's just best not to go stick in your nose where it don't belong. But you got the time to take up, get that many posted signs. I figure they mean it. There's a deputy do. We're not here for that. We're not here for sightseeing. We're mapping out the racetrack. The, uh, you know, back to the mullet. <laughs> I know a lot of, I know a lot of men, a lot of people, women too, even, even women. I gotta pay attention, not lose my trail here. Um, but, uh, you take somebody that's got even what I would consider a damn good start to a mullet. And you got yourself a straight shooter. I never knew a guy with a mullet that wouldn't give you, you know, a square deal. Didn't mean what he said. How the hell do you get down there? Now, where I'm going is right over here. You can see that. Where is it? Damn it. Right there. So you can see that orange marker on that tree that's down there. Don't worry, my dumb ass is slowly figuring out how to work my phone. It's the autofocus it turns on. So you come down here you want to be over over here right but the trail goes this way and that's the whole point of staying on this trail aha aha i just figured it out it took me like three or four tries maybe i can figure out what these signs mean as i'm mapping this out the fucking trail stops right here. 
that's the end of that trail. And you go down there and you'll see like a little blue thing, a little blue ribbon. And uh, I don't know why you had to see that, but that's what the blue ribbon looked like, except there's blue, like where my finger gestures like that. <laughs> uh, Jesus, make your own videos. Um, that blue ribbon, that's a trail marker. That's what that is. It's, it's not a trail marker, but like a land marker or something. You come down there, you loop around this thing. And this is where, like, it really gets fun. Because you could look at that first part of the trail. This is, this is dangerous. I mean, it's doable, but you got to be careful on this. But it starts getting real technical for the rest of the way. So you get a nice uphill section. You get a nice downhill section. You get a little flat top where you get some breeze in between the two. Oh shit. You know what, never mind. I was gonna stop and get a water break, but actually I am, but I'm not gonna like water pack it. I'm just gonna wet the whistle. Ah, you get just a little bit in there. Make your uh, mouth mouth wet. Don't want to get too much in your stomach. So uh, this this would be the section. Um, you got the uphill section. You got a downhill section. You got a flat hill section flat hill section and this is where you kick the motherfucker into 4x4 four four, okay you know cause whoa I just biffed it but it ain't nothing my ass didn't touch the ground but my right hand did but it's not so much about coming up through here I still don't know what they are. Don't care, I guess, but something out here is killing something. Guarantee. Uh, but coming out in this terrain shit is just like a matter of uh, why? Um, finding little spots to sprint. This is definitely not one of them, but it's not enough to where I gotta worry about falling and getting hurt. But it's where those leg stretches and shit really come into play because. Can really put them to use out here getting up over obstacles and shit bump come around let me pay attention here you stay on this side of the creek like I need to just eyeball the trail and remember this is a racetrack and not make it confusing if somebody wants to come out and run my loop and check it out because I can't go with them. Maybe you watch this video because you're too lazy to put your shoes on. You want to go out, but you don't. You can't. You watch video. It fuck it. Fuck it. Let's try a dramatic 
rock drop attempt. Oh, she'll tumble. This is too easy. <laughs> ah. Listen, you gotta keep it real. Ooh, boy. It's not dangerous as in like, you die. I suppose you could, maybe. I mean, you fall down and crack your head and die. But, let's try it again. <sighs> My heart rate's way up. If I could find a sim, let me try a few different rocks. Rock number one. Could have swore to serve dog. Rock number two. Some of those rolled at least five, six times. There's a big one that fell. Oh, son of a bitch. Now, you see, I'm on a race course track right now, and the race course doesn't go down there to see that. And, uh, Man, I want to. That looks like maybe the best waterfall there is. Man. Oh. I'm having a real hard time here right now. Because... I'm just sitting here looking down there and I know I can get down there. I know I can, but what do I gotta do to get out? To go down, I'll probably come right up that line there, but you know what? Huh. I tell you what, I'm gonna take a couple hits off his vape. Just cause it might break in the fall. I wanna go right down to the worst of it. Fucking pine sticks and shit getting tangled up in me. Got me a 20 pound pack on my back. You know what? Need to remember, you ain't got no cell phone service, you stupid son of a bitch. Maybe instead of having fun, you start thinking about getting down in that recliner tonight. What the hell's that? That looks like a railroad tie. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I kinda. Part of me regrets coming down here. Cause I feel like I'm on the New York State side of Niagara Falls. And where I need to be is down there. I'm trying to root out, root out a fucking racetrack. Not be Mr. Pitcher Show, okay? We ain't got time for this. Heart rate is getting down, and uh, 
I no longer regret coming down here. I wish I had a little bit more patience to take it in. Also, it feels like it's getting way later than it is. Because I'm deep in the bush. Man, she damn near looks like a vertical wall. We're going to check out, see what the old morels can do. See if they got any hook. I just, I just slipped a tire. Got me a little sawdust down there in my sock. Got me feeling like this is amateur hour here. I don't like slipping a tire. I fix my shoelace. That's a good way to get tangled up and trip. That one's a little bit tight. Sticking out. I keep them laced up nice and tight. Don't look like much of a line. Got this tree branch above me. I got a backpack. I don't know how many water bottles are in there, but... It's not enough to be overbearing, but it's, uh, it's enough to definitely work the fucking core. My God, look at there. Why don't you tell me, tell me where these morels I told you, I told you about the Vibram Soul. Slipped one tire. One tire coming up over there. I like trudging along in these pine needles. Feels really soft. That's a nasty little section. Can't tell it, but... I like keep my hamstrings stretched out, so... I gotta jump up those little hills like that. I can damn near put my knees up on my chest. <laughs> it definitely helps. For me, when it comes to this stuff, I'm a, I'm a slow starter. We're up into third gear now, but I got this pack. And uh, I could drop it, pick it up on the way back. Uh, but there's something up there. But yeah. Uh, This gives you a good overall workout. And, uh, it's kind of fun to torture myself. Torture myself. I'll put in a few months worth of work. And then I'll, uh, I'll turn up the wick. See where I'm at. There's a uh, shit. Honestly, I don't remember what I was gonna say.
If you go, no wait, never mind. I thought that's the way I went the last time, but you stay on this path. I'm just gonna take it up to the end of the creek as far as I'm going. The last time I kept going and going and going and uh Anyway, I think I was halfway to Watson Homestead. You're headed north. Maybe a little bit of west. But for some reason I thought I'd spun around. Only to find out I hadn't. Another reason for wanting to carry a carry a knife is uh, I always think about worst case, <laughs> and uh, say I was to take a spill out here, get injured, and uh, I needed to build some shelter and a campfire. Something, you know, to keep warm. Give you something to start with, you know. But, the only problem is, you get into that line of thinking, then you're going to want to carry a hatchet. Like, what good's a fucking... Well, good's a Bowie knife when you need firewood, you know? Get you an axe. Get you a supply of wood. It'll last you all night. I started looking into that camping gear. What I thought I might need and... What I might want and... Just the thought preparation that goes into carrying what you need to survive for a few days in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I can see how it would easily, easily turn into uh, to another addiction of mine, an obsession. How you doing? I guess we'll go ahead and duck underneath of that. Ah. thing that uh, I don't necessarily like about this trail is the fact that you got to double back. I 
I'm going to say probably about 70. Well, shit. I'm going to say that I don't feel like doing the math right now. But a good chunk of it is going to be run backwards. And then there will be one section that's different. It's fun. Me and Todd come down it in the snow and the ice. We wouldn't let nothing get in our way. Come down off it quick, you know. Beautiful. Beautiful, just hookbacks. Downhills and hookbacks. You grab a hookback, you grab that tree, you swing yourself around. Feel like a mixture of a jack and a beanstalk and the, the pinball wizard. So they go around them trees so fast, they say, how does he do it? I don't know. camera show that but my hands are my hands I'm even wet with sweat all I did was swipe the eyebrows that's one good thing about not being able to see them Chinese girls and get my eyebrows fixed up is they make pretty good sweatbands. Shit. You know what? I was hoping I was hoping for a good A good healthy turnaround spot here. You know, like the the statue there in Philadelphia. Top of them big long stairs, you know. A rocky run up to the top there. Do his little dance, come back down. Where am I supposed to do my dance? You know? <laughs> if a dumbass dances in the woods, is he still a dumbass? Hang on. Yep. Y'all don't believe I'm still a dumbass? Um, after doing that, you just gonna have to take my word for it. I would shit ya. So, shit. Not quite sure what to do. There's gotta be. got to be something out here that I could do. Man, my mouth is dry. My lips are dry. Um, where I could put, like, my mark on a, on a tree. It'd have to be... I don't know. I don't know. It'd have to be something... That would just be like directly related to me. 
that people would know that uh, other people wouldn't see and like try to pay attention to or anything. So anyway, we're halfway there. The lap time is uh, obviously going to be trash because I had to go sightseeing. And uh, I haven't uh, I haven't run a single step. I popped up over a few things, but there's uh, there's sections of this that uh, that I would love to run. Like, they actually appeal to me as far as running. Like, sometimes when you get into this shit, you'll see certain spots. You're like, that would be fun to run. Like, those pine needles, because it's so soft. It just feels good to run on it. Like, you're on shock absorbers. Ugh. I want to squat down, but... It's so hard. Ah, it's uh, really helpful to uh, rinse your mouth out. You're getting that fresh water, you rinse off your lips, rinse your mouth out real good. Just taking a few, few sips, but rinsing out your mouth, I don't know anything scientific about it. I've never even really thought about it until now, so... <laughs> Let me teach you a thing or 